Right. Um, some of the students have uh, complained that the zeosinography doesn't work too well. Um, it's true to a point. I've tried different scenarios. I found that it is able to one to select the file. You would need to select the original file. You need it as a BMP. Now, for the file that you need to hide, it must be X. <coughs> it must be um, Word 97 or Excel file. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and you must make sure that when you add the password and when you uh, when you want to encrypt, you need to add a password, and when you want to decrypt, you have to add uh, you have to put in the correct password. Okay, so let's try it out. I'm gonna add a file. So my file would be I just load the target file. Uh, it's an image of an aeroplane. So I will go here is the wallpaper. Okay, let it load. It's an uh, aeroplane in the sky, very nice. Now you need to s uh, load original files in a, in a BMP format. If you can't, you can have, you have to save it as a BMP format. The resolution must be very high. If the resolution is low, for example, 8 bit, you'll find you can see some sort of dittering effects after the encryption has been done. And this will give a hint that there is something behind it. Now then you click next. Then you're going to add a file. So uh, this is the file that I'm going to add. Uh, I'm going to hide. So I'm going to select Cocos 2009. And then I'm going to click next. And I'm going to put password. I'm going to put my name. Now you can uh, encryption algorithm. You can put RC, 2D, etc. It's irrelevant for this demonstration. But the best one is I would say is SHA. And uh, I, would I would recommend Triple D S one one two. Now what he has done is right now is reading the file, and then now it's asking me where should I put the file that has been merged together and hidden. So I'm gonna put here on the desktop. I'm gonna say as test file, and I click save. So it's finished. Okay, I'm gonna try to extract the file again. I'm gonna load the file. This is the file. Okay. So again, you see that is still okay click next so that's a file but it has forgotten the file name so okay what I'm going to do is put in my password and I'm going to extract the file once I've extracted I'm going to go they're going to ask me where the file is now I uh, from base on the original one it is an XLS file so I can put it like say 2009 XLS and I click save and the extraction was successful now. I'll just try it out whether we can get it running or not. So now I'm opening the Excel file. This will come up. I just say trust it, open it up, and as you can see, it's working. Alright, so you might need to try some of the files because some of the files will work, some will not. Okay, with that, thank you very much. Uh, I hope this um, short video would help you in uh, completing your assignment. Bye.